On the far side of a beast-ridden swamp, Mario and Co. found an imposing residence. This must be Merle's mansion, squealed Princess Peach with glee. If our friends could only find the beer heart quickly, their quest here would end. But when has fate ever set Mario on such a simple path? Brimming with anticipation, our plucky heroes plunged into Merle's mansion. Chapter 2-2! Two, two. Tricks, treats, traps. It's Halloween. Hey everybody, see you the kid here. Welcome to Super Paper Peach. Uh, last episode, we got to the Gloam Valley, eventually reaching Merle's Mansion at the end of that trail. Now, at Merle's Mansion, as you can see, we're gonna hit this coin block until there's nothing left. And then we're gonna go... Uh, thank you. And as you can see, we have a lot of things. You can see there's a chest up there if you were looking closely. This is not a normal block. Blow it up. Never mind, it is a normal block. There was a hidden block. And I'm gonna jump. And now we're going to get to the top. As you can see, this is kind of supposed to be an homage to those coin heavens that were in the other games. I do not believe you can break these blocks. Let me check them with T. That's a brick block. You can break it if it makes you feel better. Oh. Oh, crap. That may have been a bad idea. Ah. Uh, anyways, the reason why you want to actually come up here is because there's something you can get. Now, once we get to the top here, we're going to... No, 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 no! Mario! As I was saying, I'm so sorry about that, guys. We want to switch to Peach and we want to fly over. I do not know why on earth I switched in the 3D. So, we want to get this, which is a stopwatch. It will stop enemies in their track. We want to flip to Mario. Okay, get it, you flip the 3D. We want to jump and we want to land on this uh, balcony. I think that's what we call these. And we get a catch card! We get a Cursia! Catch card. Curses are unique enemies. They have different effects for every color. There's even some that are dangerous enough to send you back in the flip side. Now, these are not curses, but we are going to buy them anyway. That's one of Merle's pets, a nip. They're just getting you out of harm's way when they kick you out of the mansion. Looks scary, but they're actually quite nice. Good nah. Oh god! Good nip. Boop. Bye. Eat a bomb. Boom. Doesn't work. Crystal ball, crystal ball, scan the crystal ball. That's a crystal ball. It doesn't appear to be anything odd about it. Oh, thanks. Hi. Flipping to 3D, to, oh, this is the only way to access this door. So yeah, you cannot enter this door unless you are Mario. But we're going to actually get this cutscene done with Peach. Now, there's an easy, easy way to end this chapter off quickly. So, hi, well, hi there, big welcome, welcome to Merle's Mansion. Hello, Lady Merle's, hey man, my name's Mimi, but you can call me Mimi Kins if you want. You're here to see Lady Merle, aren't you? That's super for you, well, Lady Merle's on the single floor in the farthest room. Just head on there whenever you're ready, oh god, but listen. Don't you dare go in any of the rooms by accident, or else. Enjoy your visit, okay? So yeah, suspicious already, screaming at us never to go into any other room. Now if you look closely, you can see that there are several portraits. You can see Bestovius, you can see another character. You can see quite a bit, and I think you can see Merlin if you look closely enough. So, we want to go into this room. As you can see, we got a big creature down there. That is a gnaw. That's what I accidentally said earlier. As you can see, this is a lovely little room. We got pots, we got nice windows, seeing the nice orange sky, and a button I want to push. Uh, maybe I shouldn't be pushing buttons. Instant game over, by the way, if you let these things get you. You take one damage, and it's an instant game over. Surprisingly, the door does not lock. You want to switch into Mario. You just want to wait. And wait a bit, and flip into 3D. You want to jump on top of it. 
Once you see it hit the ground, it's gonna raise back up. It makes you wonder though, why does Merle even have this in her mansion? And we got a coin. Nice. You can see money is really plentiful in this game, so you'd never have to really worry about financial problems. And that's your biggest thing about video games, worry about how you got money. Anyways, we're gonna go up here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Bombs. It's a bombs. Okay. Okay, good. Flip back. Go here. Good, we got to this. Anyways, we want to get this. It's a house key to Merley's mansion. Now, this is the reason why the chapter is over so quickly. Now, truth be told, we've only had six minutes of footage, and I don't think that's a good enough video. So, we're going to be actually doing two chapters in this video. In honest truth, you're going to see some things in these rooms, so I may as well show you. In this room, do not worry, these coins do not have second layers. If you want, you can jump over that right there to make sure you don't fall in, because once you try to collect these coins, you're going to fall to this pit. And in this pit, we're going to get some swoopers. you got to defeat them. And oh, no, you don't. You just got to... Boop. Darn it. Swooper! Get over here. Yeah. Eight damage already. Wow. Boop. And Mario. Go in. Thank you. Until the pipe. Anyways, that was this room. Oops, I hit the mic. Next room we have, which is this one. You can see the gnaw is down there. In this room, we have the classic... You cannot get this mushroom any other way. The cutscene will freeze you in place. You cannot actually use throw. If you try, you will fail. Yo, a single slurp. Oh my jeez, we're going to die. Bye, Boomer. Thanks, Boomer. So glad you can never die. Okay, I just want to see something. I was testing something out. Because if you remember the last uh, couple episodes ago, we had a time when I tried to flip into 3D and Mario's uh, little box that surrounds him kind of glitched out. Oh, God. Now, if you really try to play this smart and you try to use a pixel, what happens is... I am so sorry for that interruption. If you try getting the mushroom, you never will. But we do get a new enemy. These are boos. That bash with spectators are boo. It's fun. It's very fond of dark places, but it's also fond of them too. It's like to be as four and attack is one. It'll disappear if you stare at it too long. But it'll reappear and chase after you the moment you turn your back on it. You get our fox it. Boop. Whoa, 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 whoa. Combo the dead. Okay, I want to grab one so badly. Stop pushing me. And I'm gonna blow up the dead. And now, thank you, Boomer, for actually being out. We're gonna blow that up and we're gonna go in the pipe. Okay, just don't follow the mushroom. You're never gonna get it. Anyways, the real thing is you want to go into 3D here and you want to go to this lock. We want to use the house key. Once you do that... <laughs> if you tried touching that thing, it would spit you outside. Wonder why that savage thing went straight for her and paid us no mind. I'd like to think we look rather tasty. What do you suppose it means? This mansion is quite odd. I feel certain it holds many secrets. Well, let's switch back to Peach because I want to end it off 
No, with the character that's supposed to be the main character of this area. Now, we made it. Actually, I know I just said I want to play this feature. I just want to check, though. We do not have anything in this room. We may hit the star and end the chapter. No. Mario and friends kept up their search, delving ever deeper into the mansion. Whenever they looked, though, they found no sign of Merle. What was this mysterious woman? Ah, maybe this way, so said Tiffy, trying to sense the Purot's location. With dread dangling like a broken chandelier, our heroes hurried through the corridors. And such, we got to chapter 2-3. Breaking the bang! Okay. Doesn't really work unless it's the intro of the video. Now, no matter what, you're stuck doing this. You just hit the block. Just get it done quick. If you tried to just hop on top, it would fall over anyway. Hey, look who's back. Nya! A cat! You broke it! You broke my most favorite face! Doofuses! I love that face more than anything! And you broke it! Oh, you'll pay for that. Yes, you will. Let me know that face cost one million rupees. So hand over the money now or you're done for! Please, oh dear, I don't even know what those are. You know, I, I think I have one. I think there's a ruby on her crown. Coins don't use the coin anymore, you peasants. I spit on your coins. What are you saying? Are you telling me you don't have any rupees at all? I like how we just start smiling and nodding. And now Peach is just like frozen. Till you work up your day, you none of the things I own you. Enjoy labor. Yeah, so you can have rubies in the generator room on the top floor. Once you earn one million rubies, you can pay it off in the room in the back. You can also check the balance of your debt there. So get to work, servants. Mario, that's not Mario. Whoa! You have a one million ruby debt, and we'll have to pay it off in full. Easy way to get this chapter: look up a code. Not a cheat code, there's actually a thing in the game where if you look up a certain code, you will gain access to a uh, thing. Or you can talk to people around. Hey, New Jebel, you want to learn a little secret? Yeah, I bet you do. Just let me 100 rubies. I'll tell you something good, honest. No way. Wait, you don't trust me? You must lead a sad little dribble life if you can't trust people. Mmm, <laughs> juicy. Eating mushrooms is the only pleasure allowed in this horrible factory. I don't know if I can go on without my sweet little fun guy. Uh, you know, when I first played this game, I thought he was talking about Peach because I did the same thing playing as Peach. And I was so concerned for a second. Because you know, you probably shouldn't tell a girl that she looks juicy as soon as you see Jump a little, please! Okay, I'm not the best when it comes to advice like that, so probably just know me. Work those skinny little flea legs. Uh, make a bird jump like I mean it. Boss, maybe hits a dock. She hates Brussels sprouts. So work it. More power. Da -da -da -da. Boop, boop, boop. I missed. Boop, boop. How much damage do you do? One. Yeah, this little generator room. Hip locks make money on rubies. Uh, rubies make the world go up, down, round, round. We're going to work here, too. Load the energy. Yes, we're gonna just go boop 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 board. Do you hear that clicking? That's the Wii remote. Invincibility. My invincibility frames failed me! That's the only thing I think that can actually get through the parasol. That's what I was talking about when I said there's gonna be something that can go through the parasol, because I think the parasol is immune to everything else, though I may be wrong on this. So yeah, this is the only thing that I think actually can get through the parasol. Now, fun fact about this chapter, it's probably known as the worst chapter in this whole game. A lot of people hated it. Probably another reason why this game didn't do so good with a lot of people is this chapter right here. 
Now, if you look closely, it seems like there's another block. I believe there is, because you can see there's two people at everything. And I think it's supposed to be that there's two blocks here, which my personal belief is that maybe, just maybe, you could have had a two-player mode for this, and maybe Peach and Mario could have been jumping, which is why there's two blocks. Anyways, we wanted to work till we got a hundred rubies. I think we did good. Oh wow, we did a lot better than I thought. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, 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 boop. I can't hit blocks! I suck at Mario games! Anyways. We want to go over here. Remember there was a guy that said we paid him a hundred rubies? He talked to us. So we want to go talk with him. Hey there, dude. Here's a hundred... Here's a hundred. Five nine six three. Five nine six three it is. You gotta remember that. Five nine six three. Five nine six three. Five nine six three. As you saw, there was another room here. This is where we want to remember. The code is five nine six three. I believe this code is the same on every save. And this room is where you're gonna get the big rupees. Run, gerbils! Run around, around you goose. When I retire, nobody knows. Big boss maybe hates a dog more than old ham. So move those gerbil legs. Power up! Now this is one of the easiest rooms, in my personal opinion, to get rubies. I'm ready. I'm gonna search tomorrow because I personally think it's better to play as Mario for this. If you get it right, you can just slide on Mario's bum. And then he'll like just break all physics. Uh like that. And we broke everything! Now just do this for like 10 minutes and we'll probably be done. Admittedly, this is the stupidest thing and it's just a break in the physics engine. Also, if you look closely at the color meter there, I think the red bars are off by a bit. As you can see, depending on where you start sliding, it'll allow you to gain different things. You see, if you try running this way, for some reason the wheel just doesn't like that. And we're gonna jump over here, we're just gonna slide. I'm just holding down, so yeah, this will be over quickly. We need 10,000 rupees. I think, maybe it's only a thousand, but there's a guy that if you put in the 3D, you can find. That's the guy you want to talk to. And I think actually, I think we did win. So, Bob down there, Bob, let me out. Here's a spoiler alert, I didn't do it right, so I'm just going to skip until I did do it right. So that way you guys don't need to be waiting here painfully for about another 20 so minutes. And after about another half hour or so of doing these exercises, we got <laughs> over 9,000 rupees, almost 10,000, thank you very much. As you can see my score is now extremely high. I actually was here for a while. Now, I've always looked at this, and I swear this guy's wheel is going the wrong way. That's what it looks like here. It looks like his is going the opposite direction of mine. I like how this guy gets to run so fast that he actually flips it over. Anyways, now what we want to do is we want to enter this room as I showed before. There's a guy, if you fit into 3D, who will give you a bit of info. So just to show you and entertain you. Here's the skinny of this match. There are a lot of things you guys plays. One ruby. This guy you want to talk to. 10,000 rubies. She started sleep talk. She whispered, I'm gonna go put this into a calculator because I'm too lazy to remember.
I have paused this part of the section of this video so that way, if you are playing along, you can copy down this code. It is the same on every save. At least that is what I believe. I am sorry if this code does not work and if it does change per save, but I will keep the video paused so you may copy down this code and be able to do this chapter a lot quicker. And I think it's a boyfriend's phone number or something. Oh. Is it a winning lottery number? I wish, dude. I would love. I have no idea though. Maybe there is a lottery number that is that way. Anyways, four six one eight two eight one six. Now, if we try doing this now. Which is what the secret passage is for. So yes, maybe paying that guy one ruby is up. But the problem is, is if you tried going, you face this. I believe it's one damage. Yes. I thought for a second it was an instant kill. Though there is a glitch that you can use in order to get by that with um out needing to uh, get what i'm about to get remember how i went over here with peach because i was trying to remember how to get back over we have uh, something coming up and you know this episode was kind of long but it is two chapters and i did want to show the part that a lot of people didn't like about this game okay after trying to open this chest you know the secret, kid? Cause I do! So, do you want to know the secret part? Well, do ya? If you're closing your peoples and imagining how that the world's gone, why that's just the biggest turn that I'll ever! What? <laughs> My sister tell me you're here? Whoa, hey, welcome, pal. Got some bad news, though. It looks to me like you're a bit lacking in thrills. I can give my bow to anyone who's your skin in the thrills department. No, I'm Mario, and I have Peach with me, and we're going all over the place. I think Mario's pretty happy. I'll recharge the thrill gauge over the next 10 seconds. Ahem. You ready? Here goes. One, two, three. Mario? Five, four, seventeen, three, four, four. One more silly ten. I'm so sorry for your ears. Now you're all charged, a fine part. Yep, and you now got your thrills. Now I remember we pictures got loads of power, so you must be real careful with us. We had a little dust up with them agents 2,000 years ago, but pounds now, so let's go have some thrills. Ah, oh, come on! And goodbye, boomer! We got Slim! We can use Slim Power to avoid traps or enemies, and when you're sideways, you won't take damage as long as you stay still. Yes, you turn completely invincible with him. You know the secret now, Bonfire? Playing on is the biggest three you can find. You gotta try it! Yep, and we will. Part is... Yeah, your part here is really helpful. Slim is really helpful. Uh, his accent is rubbing off on me. Now, I think no matter what, um, unless you work for the um, 1 million rubies right away, I do not think you can get by this chapter unless you gain a total of 1 million rubies all at once. I'm gonna flip in uh, 2D just to make this easy because the camera will not follow you. We get stuck on the wall and get super annoying. We got a boo card! So, wait, can I just come come Boom. That's what I say to you, blocks. Anyways, we want to go get Slim because Slim is why we need in order to gain access to this. 
If I recall, I'm trying to remember off memory here. So it was one. Uh, it was four one. Uh, two six, I think. And if you stay, if you just stay, just oh, that was my mistake. If you do not move, do not worry. These will not touch you. We can go up, and we can enter the passcode. There we go, and. For freedom, for hopes, and bombs, we'll have it all so long as we have enough rubies. We just got one million rubies. Now this guy, I'm actually interested to talk with him again. Because he talks about having a lot of rubies on that side. I just want to see what he says. Why did I, I don't know why I made that sound. Anyways, sir... Excuse me, Mario. Hey, you. You found it, didn't you? You found that slender eyes and pixel. Dang, I wanted to find it. Hey, but not everything that's easy. Use that there pixel and slip through thin cracks in the life. Oh, you can just banish. Oh, some of the basics. Yeah, hey. There's a lot. 3D. Aren't I technically just in 2D right now? Anyways, we have finally, finally, finally. Finally reached the end of this chapter. Oh my god, it's gonna be it's just a nightmare for me to edit this. Oh hi there, big welcome. Happy to have you here at Ruby Savings and Loan. First off, thanks for taking our special Ruby loan. Now what can I do for you? I love you! Yeah, well that's just super. No, I love rubies. Go get me some slacker. Sure, let me take all the rubies that you have off your hands, and I just, I wanted to be peach for this. Well, thank you so much for paying off your ruby loan in full. Huh? What? How did you earn enough rubies to pay off? That's not supposed to happen. No, you broke up my wonderful curse. Nyah! I'll get you. Uh. Let's go find Merle. But we gotta end things off, guys. Hope you all enjoyed this episode of Super Paper Mario, and I'll see you all next time. End of chapter!